Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world as I'm posting this. I'm posting this with the intention for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see this message. It is being posted in time for July 28th, where I am in the world. Happy birthday to all the July 28th babies out there. Um, so we can take this for the message for the 28th or the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see this message, depending on where you are in the world, when it's posting, and whenever you may happen to stumble upon the video. So let's see what's coming up here for the collective. Oops, so those two cards. Let's try this again here. Message here for the collective. All right, there we are. And so the card that we have, ooh, is the Two of Cups. So, those of you who watch my channel, you know that once a month I do love readings and then the weekly forecasts and the dailies, I try to apply the cards um, outside of Love and Romance because there's so many readers out there that do Love and Romance readings. But Two of Cups is oftentimes seen as a love and romance card. We're going to talk about that, and then I'll talk about what it can mean if we're not focused on love and romance. But traditionally, Two of Cups is seen as like a true love card, a soulmate card. Um, and typically for me in my readings, Two of Cups is when giver meets giver, right? Unfortunately, when we're the kind of people that have a big heart and we give a lot, we attract people who like to take, and they take and take and take and take and take until there's nothing left to get, and once there's nothing left to get, what do they do? They just kind of toss us aside and go on to the next one. But when we have the Two of Cups, the person you're dealing with has also been through that. They, they know what that's like, um, and because they've had the same experiences you've had. And so the giver meets giver, this is the kind of relationship that can go on forever because each person is like, what can I do for my person today? How can I be there for them today? How can I make them happy today? Um, each person is giving and putting the other first. And so these are the kinds of relationships that can really thrive and go on forever. There's a sense of true love, soulmate love, emotional uh, intimacy, connection, playfulness, harmony with this Two of Cups, right? It's oftentimes seen as that, like a true love card. Now, you know, a lot of people um, who watch my channel, you guys watch me because I don't only focus on love. And a lot of you are like, nope, <laughs> not interested, not going to happen. I don't want love at all. Uh, Two of Cups could just be harmonious interactions and connections in terms of people who are showing up, ready to show up, ready to contribute, right? Where there, there's a fair exchange instead of always being the one having to give, always being the one having to keep things together, always being the one having to take initiative. You know, Two of Cups would be dealing with people. It could be in friendship. It could be in uh, collaborations or business partnerships who are equally invested and who are also showing up, right? If you're absolutely positively like, nope, not going to be love. I'm not open to love. I'm telling you right now, no way. It could just be harmonious interactions and exchange um, in friendship and business dealings. But as I said, traditionally, Two of Cups is seen as a love card. And overall, this is like opening up to receive and being ready to receive, right? Um, and attracting this energy of people who are showing up for us, who care about what we want, who care about what we need, who want to be of service, who want to be of help, uh, and matching the energy that many of you have been putting out for years, right? In your beautiful giving energy. Um, but this could be a significant true love. You know, this could be a relationship really deepening, um, coming, coming out of cycles or patterns uh, where there isn't emotional connection or emotional intimacy or fairness, right? Where now you're calling in that connection, that fairness, that affection and uh, emotion, right? Love. 
This is love. Uh, we can have relationships, <laughs> but relationships don't always have love in them. So this emotional connection, this bond, um, and this, uh, this sense of caring, you know, caring for one another. And this might be something that some of you are kind of adding into what you're trying to call in or what you're trying to manifest. Some of you hear me talk about in the weekly forecasts how sometimes we might manifest lovers because we're focused on the passionate, romantic aspect of the relationship. And I say we got to add ingredients, right, uh, that make it a more whole or more complete relationship. And some of you are like, you know what, I want to be taken care of, you know, N not necessarily financially, um, but taken care of in the sense of, you know, someone who's going to, you know, uh, bring you a blanket when you're cold and, you know, take care of you when you're sick and, uh, you know, check up on you and cuddle with you and comfort you and, uh, you know, play with you, you know, and vice versa. So some of you may be adding that extra little ingredient here or opening up to receive uh, that kind of aspect of the relationship as well, the emotional bond and caring for one another. All right, my darlings, another positive, exciting message. Uh, if you haven't checked out the weekly forecasts already, there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to the weekly forecasts. Love readings are linked in the description of the video. And um, the link to the scheduling page. If you want to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link that will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. And you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead, and we'll see you all in tomorrow's message. Take care, my dears.